Where does your sense of personal accountability? You know that your struggle is more difficult. Shouldn't that make you work that much harder? But isn't it more inspirational to watch somebody be up against the odds and their odds are stacked against them? Yeah, the odds are stacked against you. I'm sorry, but that's life. We'll see. But we Put your different. heads down. Work. This is mind-blowing to me. Right now, the hardest thing for me to do is not to lose weight. The hardest thing for me to do is be comfortable in my skin, in the face of people like you every day. Typically, we would never let an intern go off on a guest like that. But on the flip side, here's Karen, who is a relatively unknown comedian, coming in, guns blazing, almost an attack. That's the hardest thing I've ever done. I can't, I, I don't think you're being 100% honest. Like, aren't you surrounded with people who are like-minded and agree with you and support you? I mean, yeah, but when you look at the big population, it's just, it's the way I that mean, it is. I mean, my thing is, if I were to surround myself with people who are like, oh, well, Karen has a problem, but let's just let her do what she wants to do, and we'll all get on board and watch her drink and fall on her face, and then I'll just, why wouldn't I continue on that path, you if know? You what would ever make me want to change? Isn't yeah. it important to, like, maybe surround yourself with people who don't always agree with you all yeah. the time? I just don't take very kindly to assumptions being made about my weight and my health, and also, why do you care? I have, I have a friend and I have a family, a few family members that have struggled with their weight their whole lives. And do you feel sad for your friends who are a little overweight? Like, do you feel sad for, for Whitney? I feel affected by them. I feel affected by their moods. I feel affected by that? the what? way they treat what me. A hundred percent. So My, fat people don't treat you well? Is yeah, that... they're moody and they're cranky. <laughs> they're mean. <laughs> is this real life right now? Yeah. Attitudes like this is exactly what kept me in a darkened apartment ordering pizza because I didn't want to go out into the world because people treated me so bad. Now I you exercise you every day. Maybe if you had tackled it head on and like done the best you could be and presented your best self, you would you would feel more confident. No, because it's I told like, you we, I we, lost. Like, these quit doing this hypothetical. Made, I lost made, 100 pounds. I already did it. Your hypothetical thing means nothing to me. I did yeah, it. You're not there now. You're it doesn't matter because that, like also... maybe that's why you're yelling at me because you're no, cranky and hungry. <laughs> It's game over for me. I'm pissed. <laughs> Don't do that. When I lost 100 pounds and I walked out on the sidewalk, people still walked by and called me a fat ass because right. they didn't okay. know where right. I'd come right. from right. or where right. I'd been. Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. Everybody calm down. I don't think this is going to happen at the Comedy Zone, so if you're just not listening, <laughs> um, <laughs> Winnie, we're going to hook you up with tickets to Karen's show. <laughs> front row. I only have like five fat jokes. It's fine. <laughs> Let's not slap a skinny bitch on the way out, OK? Yeah. <laughs>